Um, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Here is Pity, your Bitcoin trading informant, and this is the English TA. It's still a live analysis uh, for about some minutes. I made the German version and now I will make an English version of this analysis. So we are starting here with CoinMarketCap and we are going back to the first picture here. So guys, here is Bitcoin. And uh, hello to four viewer on uh, YouTube and hello to... 22 fewer on which and I have uh, okay okay so guys let's go here is Bitcoin on coin market cap and you can see for the day Bitcoin is going up really nice a little bit 2.13 percent in the plus but in the week Bitcoin is going down 0 0.67 percent um Aogen market open soon greetings Aogen looks like a gain day Yes, uh, New York will open soon. I'm very interested about this. We will see what's going on with New York. Maybe the first five minutes they will buy us here over 50,000. I hope so. Um, Acromatic, is that a bull flag on the 15 minute? Why not? Guys, we will check this a little bit later with CoinMarketCap. Let's check the 15 minute time frame. We have here a live analysis. Why not? Let's remove all drawings. Let's zoom in. Let's check the 15 minute chart. And we can check. Mm, not this one here, not this one here. Let me check this one here. So, this is the 15 minute time frame. If we are watching this 15 minute time frame, what can we see for the moment? We can see for the moment a trend line from here to here, and we can see a trend line from not so really perfect, not so really perfect, but it's not so a big problem from here to here. It's a rising, broadening wedge. Maybe we're going down here, here 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 possible 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 yes it's possible achromatic it's possible but then we may see here the next price down to 47300 after this maybe the next price to the upside here it's possible to see something like this why not it's also possible if you are in the 15 minute chart and we can watch it that we have here a big 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 resistance this one so maybe we're going up to this point here why not? And maybe we will see here once again 49,800 and then back to the downside. That's possible for this bull flag. Yes, it's possible. An M formation. You are watching here. Uh, what? Angry against. Yes, looks like a bull flag, but also like an M formation on the 15 minute time frame. Let me check. Uh, let's remove the drawings. Um, it's a really hard M formation for me. If it is an M formation, it's something like this. It's not a perfect M in my opinion, Higgy. I don't know if this is an M formation, but if it is, we will see a price above 42,000 again here on this point. Not impossible. Not impossible. Um, but now let's go back. Let's go back. Let's start again this analysis in English. Here is Bitcoin. So coin market cap, we're starting 2.3%. Bitcoin is going up on the day, but 0.6% in the minus. Ethereum is going up 6.8%, 4.8% in the minus. And you can see Ethereum is going down more as Bitcoin. You can see it here. The Binance coin is going down also more as Bitcoin and also more as Ethereum is going down really hard, 8.3%. So Cardano is going down in the week but on the day look at the daily guys all coins or the most coins here are in the plus because if you are watching the 24 hour time frame you can see one thing cadena kda is going to the upside with 40 percent it's pumping for the moment and i have a really nice video out there for cadena please watch this video please watch youtube um youtube.com and you can see here on my Bitcoin Trading Informant um, channel, you can see this one here. Tip. This is commercial. This is not a tip. Sorry about this one, guys. But you can see here the tip KDA Cadena price prediction. And this one here is predicting us here. You can see it here from the start. The KDA Cadena price prediction, uh, a special tip. And it's predicting us here really nice. Nice stuff to the upside. We are bullish for the moment. Look at this, 90% bullish for Cadena. So this, look, this is a really nice video. So if you are trading Cadena, this is a really, really nice uh, video for you. 
So let's continue. Bora Bora is going up, also really nice, 25%, and RVP is also going up, 25%. Really nice. The biggest losers. And now, guys, that's really, really interesting. Look at this. Near Protocol is the biggest loser, but only with 1.6%. And then all other coins are green. We have only one coin for the moment that's in the red one that's near protocol all other coins and guys we have 15700 coins they are all green today nice day or so um in seven days the biggest winner is avex quant and xdc with 21 percent, 20 percent, and 22 percent. okay it's not the right direction but it doesn't matter. And the biggest loser is Wax. Wax is going down 23%. Decreed 22 and Bitch Torrent is also going down with 16.56%. These are the biggest losers. If you can see the dominance here, the Bitcoin dominance is for uh, on 40.6% 40, 40. and Ethereum is on 21.3%. And if you are watching this here at this nice chart picture, you can see Bitcoin dominance is going down. Up a little bit here to the upside, but the most things are going down. And the others here, the gray line here is growing and growing and Ethereum is also growing. So the most things are going up, altcoins are going up, but Bitcoin is going down here. And here is the fear and greed index. And yes, we have fear in the market. You can see it here. Here is the next thing. And that is a, a thing I would like to show you here on TradingView. Here is PS Trade, and he's showing us, us here a really, really um uh interesting chart picture because he's making this at the same thing as i'm making this he's making here a parallel channel to the upside he's making here a middle line you can see here is the big question can we hit the middle line 51,000, and what will happen then maybe 56,000, then down again and up again and something like this it's a really nice little ta here and i would like to show you this because uh, a lot of guys are watching these parallel channels and a lot of guys are watching this here this is the middle line. So it's very, very important to watch the middle line. Um, the next thing is this one here is the Bitcoin price prediction, guys. And you can see the price prediction is really, really bullish for the moment. For the moment, we are here on 48,700, maybe up a little bit again, 49, maybe down a little bit again. And then maybe December the 19th, we will hit 52,000. Really bullish. Or? So we will check it. We are here, if you're watching the sentiment, bullish, 59% bullish. 41% are here bearish. The most things here are telling us, or a lot of things are telling us we should buy Bitcoin. Interesting, we have here the support and resistance levers, and we can watch here at December 31st. We may hit here 51,000 US dollar, a plus about 4.5%. The sounds you are hearing here, Ayojan, this is here on the left side. You can see, uh, from, you can see here on the live stream, um, green lines and red lines and you can hear a, a high tone here if something is someone is buying and you can see a low tone is something or you can hear sorry you can hear a lower tone if someone is selling here and if if someone is uh, buying with a really high position you can hear an extra tone the buy and sells yes okay achromatic thanks so okay let's move on guys we are here on january the 15th and we have maybe the press prediction here in 60,000 a plus about 23 percent now Let's move on. Trading view is telling us on the one hour time frame, we should be neutral as the Switzerland. Maybe we should buy a little bit. The two hours, buy, buy, and neutral. The four hours, neutral, neutral, and the buy. And the one day is a sell and a strong sell. So the bigger time frame is telling us throw away your Bitcoin. We should sell, not a financial advice. And the uh, short time frames are telling us, okay, maybe we can buy. Maybe we are buying a bottom. Let's watch. Let's watch. Okay, this is trading view. Here is really interesting um, investing.com and this is showing us the patterns. I love these patterns and I showed you this one here yesterday on a video. Please watch it. It's the weekly time frame and you can see on the weekly time frame we have piled it here a Doji star. A Doji star is a medium reliability that we will go as a pattern that... Uh, okay, I will start again. Sorry guys. A Doji star is a positive pattern with a medium reliability that we may go up from here it's a sign for a trend reversal for the most times and on the weekly time frame it's a really really nice sign so attention attention watch this doji star it's a really interesting star but the other side on the daily we have here the falling three methods bearish continuation pattern with a high reliability that we are going down from here so we have on the daily bad patterns a uh, bad pattern and we have on the weekly a bullish pattern so okay we have to check more 
here's the bar chart. The bar chart is telling us where is the next great support point, the people's first support point, where is the monthly low on 45,900, and where are the big, big resistances over us. And here it is 50,200, 51,200, and 53,000. These are the big resistances over our heads. So now, this is the 15 minute time frame. Let's start with the 15 minute time frame. Um, we are watching this now. What's maybe the next thing what we can see? And guys, let's start with this. We are going down here for the moment with this line here. That's the resistance line. And we are going down with this line. That's the support line. It's a falling wedge here on the 15 minute time frame. Or maybe let me tell it a one hour time frame because on the 15 minute time frame, we are buying this one here, guys. It's a little rising wedge, this one. Um, so this one here. So on the 15 minute chart, we are here on the rising wedge and maybe we are going here. Maybe that's the big question up here to this point or down here to this point. So that's the big thing. And guys, the next big thing is if we go up here to 49,700, we need a break out of the right line. If you're going down here to this point, maybe 47,600, um, we need to hold the support line. If we will go down more and more, attention, attention, attention. If we are watching now the ribbon band of the 15 minute time frame, let me show you. Angry Higgins, Bitties Analyze in full screen. Higgy, thank you so much. Yes, this link on my live stream now, Higgy, is the full screen analysis, and this is the live uh, analysis. What you are watching on Twitch, this is the little, the little window here, because you are watching this in my 24 hour live stream. And this link, what Higgy is posting, is the link to the full screen live screen what I'm making for the moment. The same stuff is for all watchers over YouTube. You can join the live stream with the full screen. The link was this one from Higgy here. Thanks, Higgy, for this. My mod, my moderator. I have to drink something. Sorry, guys. Very short. Okay, back to this. So the question is, yes, we are binding here um um this patterns here and the big question is will we break down to the downside or to the upside as always that's the big question um we can also watch in the 15 minute char chart here this um fibonacci lines and if we are watching this we can also see here is the next one on the on the upside here is this one and we can see the 0 0.5 Fibonacci at 48,700. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Here we are. This one here is for the moment our big, big thing we have to watch. This one here, this Fibonacci line. 48,800. We need to fight back this one. We lost it here for the moment. And we also lost the ribbon band. You can see we are fighting now under the ribbon band. We need to fight back this damn ribbon band. We need to fight back this damn 0 0.5 Fibonacci line. So for the moment, a lot of resistance on the 15 minute time frame over our head. This is not so nice. Um, we can watch this one here. This uh, stuff to the downside, this yellow line is the EMA 200. And this is now important, 48,374. This must hold here. That's the support line. And if we, we lose this, we have the next line on the downside, 48,000. That's the big thing for the 15 minute time frame. If you are watching the 15 minute time frame, we can also watch the MACD. Um, let's check it here. And the MACD is not so bullish here. You can see we lost the blue line here with this bad candle through the ribbon band. Now we are with the blue line under the brown line. And you can see here we are building more and more red candles. It was a better time here. We, we saw dark red candles here, light red candles. And I thought, okay, maybe we're going up, we're going up, but then bam, this damn red candle here is going down and we are buying more and more dark red candles for the moment. So MACD on the 50 minute time frame, not so good. If we are watching the one hour time frame, we can also see on the one hour time frame, we lost also the brown line. Blue line is under the brown line, we are buying more and more red candles. So good. But on the one hour time frame, and this is a nice stuff, we can see this one here. For the moment, we are over the ribbon band. We are fighting now between this one, the EMA 200, and we are fighting uh, between the ribbon bands. You can see it here. We have some spikes down to the ribbon band, but for the moment, we are over the ribbon band. And this is, for the moment, 
Kurdish. We need to stay over this. We need to fight back the EMA 200. Damn, that's the big thing here on the one hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, watch this one here. We have a bullish MACD. Look at the downside. We have a bullish MACD. We are going down with the green candles, but we are piling now the first, maybe the first light green. The first light green. Uh, that's not so nice. We need to build more green candles. Um, but if you are watching here on the upside, the ribbon band, you can also see we are fighting here in the ribbon band. Here is the ribbon band. We are here with the spike to the uh, to this line here, and we need to fight back the ribbon band to the upside. Our problem here is this one that we have no confirmed closing candle over the ribbon band. We need one. That's very important, guys. Really important. Uh, and on the one day time frame, this is our picture here. On the one day time frame, we have a bad ribbon band here, resistance. Where is the EMA 200? Where is the EMA 200? Here it is. Here, this yellow line. This yellow line is the EMA 200, and here's the price about 50,000. 50,000 EMA 200. We need to fight back this line. As long as we are under this, damn. The next big thing, in my opinion, is we need a price here over this one 52,000 because this is the next higher high as long as we are going down here we are battling you can see it here lower highs that's not good lower highs here was a high here and here we're going down we are building here higher lows that's also bad so we need to build higher highs that's important and we need to uh, break out from this damn resistance and need 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 okay guys i think you know what i mean here for these time frames Let's remove the drawings now. Let's remove the MACD. Let's remove the ribbon band. Let me show you the next big thing. And that's also really important. That's the Ichimoku. The Ichimoku with the blue line is here. And that's a bullish stuff. Yes, for the moment, we are building now a candle over the Ichimoku. We have time, nine hours to close this candle. That's so important for the moment to close this candle over the blue line. Please, little Bitcoin, close this damn candle over 48,500. This would be the best thing here for the day if we can see this. If we will close the candle again under the blue line, oh my God. The next thing we need, and this is here, this one, 51,000 red Ichimoku. We need to fight back. You know it, guys. We have the nine lengths, the blue line. We have the 26 lengths, the red line. We need to fight back these lengths, uh, these lines here. For our supports for the moment here it's a hard fight it's a really hard fight with the itchy okay that's this stuff um remove this stuff now let me show you um i showed you this in the german version but i will show you this here also in um the english one first of all this is a bad resistance line and the next one is Maybe something like this one here. That's a really, really big falling wedge here. Falling, broadening wedge. Not very amusing because maybe we're going up here a little bit with the fight. Down here a little bit with the fight. And the next thing, also possible if you're watching this pattern, it's not a really nice, not a really nice pattern here. Uh, and next big thing is this line, what we need to fight back. One of the important lines, if you are watching the greater time frames, is this green line. As long as, as we are under this green line, everything is bad. We need to fight it back. Uh, that's the big, big problem for the moment. And if we are making here from the downside, here, over this point, an uptrend line like this one, you can see one stuff now. That's also really important. We are fighting with the middle line. This one here. Fight with the middle line. We need to hold the middle line. We need to make a bottom here. The bottom must hold. And we need to break out from here to the upside. That's very, very important. We need to break through this support line. We need to break out here. And in my opinion, guys, that's one of the big things I'm watching. Um, um, this is the Elliott Wave Theory. I showed you this also on the German video, but I will show you this one here also on the English one. This was maybe one, two, three, four. And maybe we see here the fifth leg to the upside. 
that's the big thing what I'm watching. That's the big thing what I'm hoping for the next time here, maybe to hit this line here on the upside. This would be really, really awesome. Um, one thing we can make here, this is the Fibonacci retracement. Or not the retracement, the Fibonacci from the lowest point to the highest point, like this one here. And if you're zooming out here a little bit more, oh, it's not working. Um, zooming in a little, uh, zooming in a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Um, we have here things to watch, and this is this fat line here. That's a really, really big red resistance line. We need to fight back this one, fifty-three thousand. A really, really bad resistance. And on the downside, we have a really nice support. That's this one here. So it's also possible to fight a little bit between these both lines here. And then maybe we will see a direction to the upper to the downside like this here. Next target to the downside, 36,000. Next target to the upside, 70,000. Guys, these are a lot of things that are possible for the next time for Bitcoin. And I will end this video with this one here. If you have any questions, please write it in the chat. Let me know it. If you have any suggestions, if you have uh, your own chart picture here, please send a link in the chat. Um, and I will show it here to the public here to you and we can discuss it. It's no problem. If you would like to know anything about the coin, please write it in the chat. I will make an analysis. Uh, and if you are happy with my work, please send me a thumbs to the upside. And if you are not happy with my work, Send me a thumbs to the upside. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the today live analysis. Um, I showed you some stuff on English. I showed you some stuff here in German. And I hope, guys, you will make millions. It doesn't matter if you go long or if you go short. I hope you will make millions. Um, one thing I showed you on the German version, but not here, is this one. Let me show you where it is. Um, here it is. The breaking news. The big thing I forgot today. This is the breaking news from yesterday. Um, sorry, guys, let me search it. No, it was not this one. Ah, this one, guys. This one is a really bad stuff. Really bad news for Bitcoin. The Russian funds banned from holding crypto central bank directive. This is not so nice. So these are bad news. The Russian banks will ban maybe Bitcoin. That's a really, really bad stuff. But we are reading it for China every day. China is banning Bitcoin and so on. So that's not so a big thing, but it's, uh, it's, it's an, um, a bad stuff, a bad news. These are bad news. But what I would like to show you um, I can't, can't find it for the moment. Um, let me check one thing. Let me check one thing. BTC USDT. And here are the news. Yes, this one here. Yesterday, guys. Yesterday. Um, uh, really, really interesting. Uh, Jeremy Powell met yesterday. Um, a nice stuff. We saw uh, we saw it yesterday. I, I posted a link in the in the in the chart here in my live stream. And um, Jeremy Powell spoke yesterday, uh, really nice about uh, cryptocurrencies. And here is uh, Justin Bennett, a cryptocurrency analyst and a trader. And he told uh, his uh, followers. He has ninety four thousand followers. I have a little bit more, but not not so much more. Okay. Um, uh, he told his followers that the federal reverse uh, chairman, Jerome Powell's comments were bullish for cryptocurrencies. And he noted that Bitcoin and Ethereum were rallying on the dollar's weakness. That's a positive stuff. Okay. Um, okay, guys, I'm reading really often this news and I'm showing you this news also here on my live stream. I'm streaming live 24 hours. You know it, guys. CryptoShack NATO, so happy with your work. Always go team PD. Thanks, CryptoShack NATO. Thank you so much. Uh, Ayoka, Ayojan, who cares about Russian? The whole world is, is scaring about Russian and cares about Russian, I think. China ban uh, usually works out kind of well. Yes, the China ban is also working well. Uh, we, we see really often here um, sell-offs for Bitcoin if China is banning again and again and again and again Bitcoin. And uh, yes, okay, we have to. So 
guys, this is the next. Oh, this is really interesting. Look at this here. Um, I showed you maybe a potential forming shoulder head shoulder. And what can we see for the moment? Here is uh, fire retreating and he's showing us a potential shoulder head shoulder. That's also a positive, uh, a positive, not a positive, damn, um, a possibility that we see this. Let me check this last but not least before we end this live analysis. Uh, because I showed you this since long time, it's a possible thing. It's, uh, guys, he's showing us this one, a shoulder, a head, a shoulder. This would be maybe here the trend line for this. And if this will happen, maybe something, uh, something like this one here. Uh, we will see maybe a down going Bitcoin price here with this shoulder head shoulder. And I showed you guys the possibility of this big shoulder head and maybe shoulder. So maybe we are going up here a little bit more and more down again. Here is the trend line. And after the trend line, we will break down to the downside. And that's enough magic glass reading for the future, guys. We have to watch what's going on. We will see, and I hope, guys, you can make millions. Guys, thanks for watching. Dragon, uh, US has shown no larger, no longer care about. Okay, uh, greetings, Dragon. Um, we will end this video today, this live analysis. Thanks for watching, and I hope we will see us tomorrow for the next five minute tube update for Bitcoin in German and in English, or we will see us maybe on the live streams on YouTube or on Twitch. Guys, have a nice time. Greetings, USPD, and thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Thanks for every time to the upside. Special thanks to Rudy. Special thanks to Angry Higgy. Angry Higgy is also writing a lot of comments. Crypto Shark NATO is also writing comments, not so much, but some uh, comments. And I hope, guys, we will see us as millionaires in the future. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.